So use the rectangle tool, REC, enter, click on the corner, and we're going to go out 0.5, tab, 0.17, enter. Okay, and that is one of the studs going in that direction. And the other one, I'll just draw it now, REC, enter, is the opposite. So it's 0.17, which is roughly 2 inches, tab, 0.5, enter. Okay. Now with each of these, we're going to go ahead and copy them over. So CO for copy, enter, select the first one, enter, and let's go ahead and move it from the center. We'll do the best we can with this. And I'm going to go out, you know, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay. I'm going to press escape. Enter to reactivate my copy tool, select that one, enter, and clicking on the middle and going up this way, I'm going to go 2, 4, 6, enter, 8, enter, 10, enter. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and you can see the work. Everything looks decent, it looks like something happened up there, which is fine. I'll select the last one on the row and use the copy tool and go up, you know, 2, 4, six, enter, eight, enter, and press escape a few times. And I could delete the, that one, the remnant. And for this one here, I will just use the move command to move that over there and delete the extra. Okay. So that wall looks great. This one over here also needs a move. Enter, select it and move it from there over to there. And that wall looks great as well. Okay, let's go ahead and copy these over. So I'm going to select these ones. And it might be quicker to do with a mirror, or maybe about the same. So let's just do a mirror, MI, enter, find the midpoint, go down, click, and don't erase the source. Okay, press escape, and then MI, enter, and you can select these ones now enter, find a middle, go the other direction. Hmm. Okay. If not, we'll use the copy. One, two, three, four, five, six, enter. And I'm going to move it from this point. Oh, do I seriously have the mirror again? <laughs> okay. One last time. going to use the copy, enter one, two, three, four, five, six, enter and I'm going to copy these over to the other side like that. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and adjust these ends here. So I want you to select this one and move it up there and then rinse and repeat for each. You really only need one of them not to be overlapping. So you could choose which one I'm fine with either. like so. Now for simplicity's sake, we also need to determine where we want to put our door that we're going to add as well as the window opening. So let's go ahead and decide that we're going to put the door over here between these two studs. A door is typically about three feet wide. So we're going to actually move both of these. So M for move, enter, select that one. And I'm going to move this one just an extra half foot. So 0.5, enter like so. And then I'm going to move this one by selecting it again and pressing enter with the move tool. And I'm going to move down this path, a total of 0.5 enter. So I've expanded this doorway and over here where my window is going to go, we're just going to use this as the framework for the window. So we're going to need something up here, another stud to hold the sill in place. And you'll see what I mean after we eventually draw that but I want you to use the copy tool, CO, enter, select that, enter, and then on center, find that triangle, click on it. I want you to go along the path, a total of one foot, enter. So that one is now in center with the other ones. Okay, the last thing we gotta do is trim off the excess here. So the sole plate does not travel where the door is. 
And since we're putting the door here, we need to crop off those lines. I want you to use the trim command. Trim, enter, select, whoops, wrong way. Select the portion of everything, enter. And I want you to trim off this line and that line. So both of those have been trimmed and now you can kind of see your doorway is starting to take shape. Now we do want to start extruding this, but it, this sketch over here is so valuable if we actually save it, we can actually make the insulation portion a lot quicker. So I'm going to adjust myself to a top view. I'm going to use the copy command, enter, select that complex sketch, enter. And I'm just going to select it and move a copy of it right up there. Okay, and now we're going to extrude out the studs. We're going to extrude them all out except for this one over here because we're going to extrude at a different height. Use the EXT command, EXT, enter, and select each individual stud. I'm going to speed it up now so the video shortens a little bit. Okay, so I've selected them all except for that one. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to extrude these each out nine feet. So nine, enter, and now they've all been extruded. For this one over here, I'm going to go EXT again, enter, select it, enter, and I'm going to go up just three feet. So three, enter, and that stud there, of course, is going to support the sill. Okay, so that's looking really good. We do want to get the sole plate in place, and just to make sure that it's all built properly, I'm going to select all the studs including this one over here. And I'm going to allocate them over to the studs layer. So I'll click on stud layer. I'll press escape twice. And then I'm going to turn the studs layer off so I could take a look at my sole plate. And right away, I could tell that it's not complete. I must have lost some lines somewhere. So I'm going to zoom out and then head over here, looking at my top view. And I'm going to press L for line, enter. I'm going to connect that line to that line, escape, enter that line to that line. Escape. Then I'm going to use the join tool, J, enter, and I'm going to select these two portions to join them, and then those two portions to join them. Enter. Okay, so now it's all been joined. We should be able to extrude it out. EXT, enter. I'm going to select that, 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 and that. Enter. And I could extrude them up, but if I do, I'm going to merge them with the studs. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go down. Let's go ahead and say this is roughly two inches. So I'm going to say 0.17, enter. I want to allocate this to the studs layer. So I'm going to select all five portions of it. I'm going to go over here to the studs. Now remember, the studs is turned off. So when I click on it, it's going to pop up with an error. Don't worry about that. Feel free to press close. It's still there. It didn't delete itself. It's just now you know, invisible but I'm going to select this line that seems to be like some residue and I'm going to delete that with the delete key then go back here and turn my studs layer back on. Now we want to add the top plate. So let's go ahead and use the mirror command M I enter. And I want you to select this stud, this stud and this stud or of the sole plate, not this one here because it needs to be intact on the top and we will, it'll take more work to do those ones. So press enter and then find your midpoint. I'm going to look for one of these midpoints here. That's a good one. Click, and I'm going to drag my direction that way. You can see it's snapping nicely into place. Click again, and don't erase the source object. OK, so that's looking great. Now we're going to go ahead and move this one over with a copy. So CO, Enter, select it, Enter. And I'm going to click on the corner here, and I'm going to move a copy of it over to the corner there. OK. And that one now closes off as well. Next, we have to add in the header for the door, as well as the header for the window, as well as the sill of the window. And we're going to use our previous sketch that we created and saved before to do this. I'm going to draw a rectangle in this area over here. OK, that's going to be the header for the window. And I'm, I'll just move this um, just a little bit. So you know that it still exists and it's right over there. And then for the sill, since I know it's between those two, I'm going to draw a rectangle, REC, enter from there to there. OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and move that one. Enter 
are just like right over there. So you can see our two objects. We're going to extrude them both the same amount. So extrude that one and that one, enter. And I'm just going to go up a total of 0.17, enter. And then for this one over here, I'm actually going to draw out an additional portion, but I'm not exactly sure how much I want to draw it out by. So what we can do is simply adjust our view so I could see this a little better. I'm going to draw a rectangle, REC, enter, click on the top corner. I'm going to go up roughly about halfway, like so, and I'm going to click over there. Okay, so it kind of aligned nicely. Then I'm going to use the move command, M, enter, select that, enter, and I'm going to move it from there over to the midpoint of the block, like that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and move these into their correct position. I'm going to start with the sill. I'm going to use the copy tool, select that, enter, and I'm going to click it from that corner. I'm going to move it over to this corner over here. So it's in place, it's just not high enough. Remember, we went up three feet the first time. And then I'm going to use the copy tool, select that, enter, click on the corner and go up a total of three units, enter. Let's take a look, that looks great. And then let's put the next one up a total of three point or 6.17. So, or let's do, yeah, 6.17, enter. And I'm going to zoom out, and you can see right away that that is now in place. So I'm going to press Escape twice, select this one, delete that, select this one, delete that one. And over here we have a three-foot window. I also need some kind of a stud to be there as well. So let's just go ahead and copy this stud. So copy, enter, select, and whoa, whoa boy, where'd it go? <laughs> uh, undo that for a second. Copy. Enter, select that one, enter, and I'm going to copy it going vertically up. And if this one is starting at zero and the other one is at 6.17, I'm going to go 6.17 with this one as well, enter. Okay, press escape twice. Let's take a look, see what happened. Looks good for the most part, just a little too tall. So I'm going to select it, grab the arrow, and just move it downward. Okay, so now that aligns with the other ones, the window's in place. And now let's go ahead and fix up the door. So I'm going to first move the doorway. So M for move, select that, enter, click on the corner, and rotate it over here. I'm going to put it in this corner, like that. And then a typical door is 6 feet 8 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and use the move tool again, enter, select both of those, enter, click on the corner, and go up a total of 6.67 enter when I zoom out you can see the doorway is in place then we can extrude that the, the rectangle we drew up there so ext enter select the rectangle enter and I want you to go up to the top there press escape twice and taking a look at that that looks great okay let's go ahead and add both of these to our stud system so I'm going to select that rectangle that rectangle, this rectangle, and that rectangle. And I'm going to go ahead and allocate it over to our studs. Press escape twice, and now our stud system is complete.